Okay, to be sure is back. I'm picking up. It's still May the 30th. I'm picking right back up where we left off talking about discern and concern. Okay, I had asked the Lord to give me understanding about CERN. He said, what comes to mind? I thought about the word discern and the word concern. The Lord told me, write it down. He told me, look it up. What we learned about discern is, it is to detect with senses other than vision, to examine closely, to filter. And filter means remove impurities. So for us to discern, we are examining something with our spiritual senses that the Lord gave us, which is of the Holy Spirit, which allows us to recognize and remove impurities to where we only focus on the things of God. Okay? Now, we talked about the sifting from Satan. So, we're going to move on down here to the word concern. Okay, the word concern means anxious sense of interest, uneasy or burdensome state of mind. The Lord also showed me that it's an internal sense of emotion usually attached to issues surrounding our welfare, uh, welfare and how we may be affected by something, okay? Now, the thing that the Lord showed me is common with these is this is all about sense. It's a sense, an element of being able within us to sense things sense okay and this is connected to the pineal gland uh, we'll get into understanding that a little better later but right now i want to explain this so you'll understand this and i can refer back to it as we talk about the pineal gland but as we see this is about discern is about a, a, a sense of being able to detect things that are not of god Okay, concern is, is the element within us that gives us anxiousness uh, over things that, how would you say, uh, that catch our attention that don't seem quite right. So if we discern and something not quite right, then we become concerned, okay? And concerned is that Internal sense of emotion usually attached to issues surrounding our welfare and how we may be affected. So if something is going to affect us in a negative manner or a hurtful manner, then we become concerned. If we discern and find something bad, we become concerned. Okay? These go hand in hand. Now, the next thing the Lord told me, because I asked him, I said, Lord, what do you want me to see here? And this is what he said. Remove the prefix. What do you have? If we remove the prefix, we take the dis off, we have CERN. If we remove the prefix on concern, if we take the con off, we have CERN. What did we learn about CERN? Satan wishes to sift us. CERN. Is about sifting us. Now this come this come from the Lord. Okay, this is not something that that I could go look up. Uh, please understand and and pray and ask the Lord to give you discernment on what I'm saying. Okay, because I would never ever want anyone to just take my word for it. Seek the Lord on it. Okay, but if we look at what the Lord said about moving the prefixes. Then he told me, the meaning is lost. I'm like, okay, Lord, what do you want me to understand by that? If we lose the meaning of discern, we lose the ability to detect. Okay? We lose this ability, this sense to detect and to filter out the impurities. If we lose the concern, 
We lose the concern. We lose the discern. We lose the senses that go with them. Okay? So we can no longer use discernment. We will no longer have the sense to detect, to examine closely, filter out the things that are not of God. Okay? If we lose concern, remember the Lord said, the meaning is lost. If we lose the meaning of it, we lose the sense of being able to know and, and have the ability to understand that we need to, that things around us, I guess is the best way to put that, that things around us may have an issue that affects our welfare and our well-being. So what the Lord is showing me here is that we will lose these senses by the Im implementation of CERN. But this, this is what the Lord is showing me will happen on a personal, individual layer as we are affected as human beings, not in the environment or opening dimensions. This is about shutting down our ability to tell what's not of God and shutting down the element within us that rises up to let us know we need to take issue with something, okay? It is about, this is what the Lord told me, when these senses are lost, it's about a state of oblivion. And oblivion, state of oblivion, a state of being unaware of unconscious, excuse me, or unconscious of what is happening around you. And yes, many already are not aware of what's happening around them, but this would bring it to an even higher degree. Mentally withdrawn or blank, the fact or condition of forgetting or having forgotten, condition or quality of being completely forgotten. Now those one I want to point out there, what Satan's goal is there is to make us forget about the one true living God and his son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Okay? Satan wants us to forget about that because he's got a new religion he wants to introduce. And this, this, the way that CERN will affect this pineal gland is all about light and dark and vibration. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Okay, also, I made note down here, a state of oblivion is escape or freedom from worry, care, not for, and unpleasantness. So what the enemy will offer to people is this state of escape from all the things that come down on them in life. A sense of no worries, okay? A sense of not dealing with anything unpleasant. And this is how he's going to make this so appealing. And that is what his goal is, is to draw people in, to make it very appealing and draw them in. Have them forget about the Lord Jesus Christ so that he can rise up in their mind as their God. That's what this is all about on an individual level. And once CERN has opened these portals on these dimensions and all the evil that is about to arrive gets here, people will not be able to discern. Okay? That's how the delusion will be perpetuated on the people. Because they will not be able to discern 
Okay, that takes us back to the covering of the blood of Christ. Because those who are covered in the blood of Christ, those who have the Holy Spirit, and I'm going to, I'm going to use this, if I can find back one. Here we see, it's about a filter that helps us to recognize and detect the impurities. Okay? I call that our Jesus filter, which is the Holy Spirit. It's given us by the Holy Spirit. So those who have never come to salvation in the Lord, those who do not have the Holy Spirit dwelling within, they are the ones that are going to be caught up in this losing these senses that help them to see truth and that, that give them the, the feeling and the emotion to have a concern for things that are not right, things that are not in their best welfare, things that will affect them in a bad way. And hold on just a minute. I'm going to look at my screen and see if there was something else I wanted to point out before I shut this off on this subject. But we, what the Lord's wanting me to point out here is how CERN, how Satan wants to affect the people with this I don't know what you call it, with CERN, with this plan of his. But those that are covered in the blood, it's, it's so important to have the covering in the blood because without being covered in the blood, they are wanting to, to remove the sense to make you oblivious where you have no discernment and no concern. You are just oblivious. You're happy to be in a state to forget everything, no worries, not deal with no, anything unpleasant, and not even know what reality is. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut this off right here. Let me look one more time. Um, do a little homework on um here here's something else i wanted to show you it's i'm glad i pulled this up okay we've been talking about cern and how satan through cern wants to affect people on an individual basis okay we know that shiva sets outside of the facility of the cern laboratories and I wanted to show you this uh, was one of the better pictures I have found. If I can get that reflection off of here. Get it out of the way. Okay, there we go. You see, this statue has that third eye right there on the front of the forehead. And it that's I'm just showing you that so you can see the connection with Shiva and CERN. Because we know Shiva is outside of the CERN facility. And the eye, the third eye, is on the head of Shiva. It's very important for us to understand that because it's all part of the delusion that Satan wants to bring about on the people. And I'm going to cut this off here. I'll be back later. Bye-bye. I love you.